Hello, and welcome to Art History with Jackie. Today, we will be talking about David Hockney. Hockney is a well-known British painter, printer, and photographer. He played a large role in the pop art movement of the 1960s, which we have talked about already, and continues to work to this day. Hockney was born and grew up in Bradford, England. He studied at Bradford College of Art and the Royal College of Art in London. Hockney was one of the artists in the university's show Young Contemporaries, which is known for introducing British pop art to the world. Hockney went through a rebellious phase in university. He was told he would not be permitted to graduate if he did not complete a life drawing of a female model. In response, he painted life painting for a diploma. He also refused to write a final essay for one of his classes. The university recognized Hockney's talent and changed its regulations to allow him to graduate anyway. If only my university would do the same. Hockney moved to Los Angeles in 1964, where he became inspired to create one of his most famous series of paintings of swimming pools. He used the new medium of acrylic paint to create the iconic vibrant colors and patterns of this series. Though British, Hockney has become well known for his Californian style. Hockney has experimented with many mediums, including painting, drawing, printmaking, watercolors, photography, and computer and iPad drawing programs. He has always returned to portrait paintings. He paints life-size portraits in a realistic style. He often returns to the same subjects, such as his family, employees, fashion designers Celia Burtwell and Aussie Clark, and other famous friends from his circle. Hockney also returns to self-portraits, having created 300 in his career. Hockney has experimented with printmaking since 1954. One of his most famous series is the Hollywood Collection, a series of lithographs recreating the art collection of a Hollywood star, each piece depicting an imagined work of art within a frame. In the 70s, Hockney began working with Picasso's favorite printer, Aldo Komelnik, who taught him to put a wooden frame on his prints to maintain separation of color. In the late 70s, Hockney learned from another friend of his, Ken Tyler. He began using a new technique with liquid paper. The process is painting with the paper itself, so the artist has to do it himself by hand. Each image is a unique work, despite technically being a print. David Hockney began working in photo collages in the early 80s. He used Polaroid prints of a single subject and arranged patchworks to create one whole image. The photographs are taken from different perspectives and at slightly different times, and the final result ends up with a cubist feel. Hockney called these pieces his joiners. In the 90s, Hockney returned to painting his home landscape. He had never stayed in Yorkshire for more than two weeks since he left as a young adult, until 19, 1997, when he became inspired to capture his local surroundings. By the early 2000s, he was back living in Yorkshire, creating plein air oil and watercolor paintings. He created large paintings made of multiple smaller canvases arranged together. David Hockney is known as one of Britain's most influential artists. He has been featured in over 400 solo and over 500 group exhibitions. In 2018, he sold his portrait of an artist, Pool with Two Figures, at auction for $90 million, which became the most expensive painting by a living artist sold at auction. Want to learn more about David Hockney? Check out his website, davidhockney.com, and this online exhibition from the Royal Academy of Arts in London, available on YouTube. Inspired by Hockney? Try your hand at your own self-portrait. Be sure to tag us in your pieces. Thanks and see you next week.